Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Since the last episode, I've gone around this body of water and cleared out all the biter bases that I could see. Um, so it doesn't look like there are any, any more biter nests right now that are getting close to our pollution cloud. So we should be relatively undisturbed for the near future. Um, as I was coming back from that expedition, I noticed that I had a little stone patch over here. And since I had complained previously about not having enough stone, I thought I would tap into it. Um, I set this up slightly differently just because um, if I had put the mining drills right up against this belt, uh, their area would have less would have left this last little row of stone uncovered. And it seemed to me to have a waste to have more mining drills over here just to pick up that little bit of stone. Uh, so what I did is I, I just separated these by another tile and then I'm just using belts here to side load. Right, so I have a gap of two tiles between the belts over here and that way I can cover the whole patch with eight mining drills. Um, yeah, and if you hover over the mining drill itself, you can see that it it mines not only the area immediately beneath it, but also uh, also a an area of one tile all around it. So that's why you can do this, and you can you can still mine these two tiles here in the middle. Um, I think I can get away without having a radar over here, but yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. We'll throw down a radar and I will put in a couple of turrets yeah, I'll put one there and I'll put one over here and I'll just well let's give them half a stack each of yellow ammo all right and then I'll just run the belt over and I'll just connect this with the other stone belt that I have already Okay, now over here I've noticed, let's get a little bit of light. Um, I've noticed that some of these mining drills have mined out. You can tell because if you, if you hover over a mining drill and you look at expected resources, if there's nothing below it, then it's mined out. Like this one, for example, still has 1.5K. This one has nothing, that's why it's not running. Okay, so whenever you run past your, your mines, um, it's a good idea just to check for any uh, for any drills that are mined out and then go ahead and pick them up so you can reuse them where they're going to be more useful to you. And so what I'm going to do now is I will put a few drills up here uh, to try to clear out the rest of this iron. Let's see if I move that over. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. It's a little weird, but it'll work. And then we can put we can put a mining drill here. That's going to be, yeah, let's just do it this way. It's going to be some iron and some copper. Let me relocate that. this thing slightly. Right. 
There. Okay, so the iron will come down on this side and go into that chest to eventually get placed upon this belt. Right, and so you can see what I would mentioned before about the splitter getting backed up. Um, so if this whole side stops, then, well, I don't know. Sometimes one side or the other will, will stop working, which is why I don't often use filter splitters, but, but this should work. And actually what I, I would like to be able to I'd like to be able to get this put on here. So let's do this. I'm going to put I'm going to do that and I'm going to tell it to make this the input priority. So this way, whatever iron comes on here will will go out on this belt as a priority. So we'll get rid of it faster. Okay, so our research queue is done. We're running out of options here. We can do landmines, we can do combat robots, and we can do rocketry. So let's go ahead and get those done. And then what I want to start working on today are the blue science packs, which is what we need for to continue advancing our research. Um, so the, the research that I've been doing so far, here our path is clear now of stone, that's nice. Um, you know, you might wonder why I chose a research speed. Oh, let's get our stone brought over here. A research speed of like one science pack per second um, you know or one science pack cycle per second um, and it's it's kind of an arbitrary figure you know you could really choose any number that you want and just design your base so that it's making every science pack at the same speed and you'll be fine um, but I found that uh, doing one per second like I am now is a good balance between between speed and having a base that's, you know, or a starter base as we're doing now, that is a manageable size. Um, because one thing you've probably noticed is that up until now, it's been, it's been very rare that we've had to actually wait for any research to be completed before we could do what it is that we wanted to do. Right, so the research is definitely going fast enough at the current rate. Sometimes perhaps even too fast. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this is a little weird. Let's see here. I've got... All right, so I've got one, two, three, four belts of stone coming in, all right? So let's just do this. All right, and that's how you split four into one. That one's mined out, and this one actually doesn't have much stone left, so this one will eventually work itself down to zero. This one is mined out. Let's see. 
These are all looking good. Let's while we're here, let's just go ahead and get the rest of this tapped out. Okay. And then we still have some here that we'll need to tap into eventually. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to have to start thinking about training soon so that we can get resources from some of these other patches because our current resource, resource patches are not going to last for much longer. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the things that I would like to start stockpiling a little bit are rails. Um, you need these for the tracks. They take one stone, one steel, and one iron stick. And over here, I... No, I don't have stone over there. I've got steel stone. Yeah, let's just do something. I want to do it before we run out of iron. All right, so I'm just going to temporarily set up a machine making making rail. Okay, so there's the stone, there's the steel. And then iron sticks. And we'll just start filling. I'll fill a wooden chest. That'll give us that'll give us plenty, I think. Now later on, uh, we actually will actually be making these. One, two, three, four. Yeah, eventually we'll actually be making rail for one of the other science packs. But we're not doing that yet, so that's why I'll do it this way. Um, which one is it? Yeah, the production science pack requires rail. Um, so later on, once we start making that science pack, then... I'll get rid of this little thing here, but uh, until then we'll, we'll get ourselves a nice little amount of rail so that when we do need to set up a mining outpost with a train, we'll have the rail already produced in order to do that. Okay, so let's look at blue science packs. They take sulfur, advanced circuits, and engine units. Now engine units we already know how to make. We made a few in order to get our car Sulfur comes from petroleum. It's fairly simple. We need chemical plants for that. So let's go ahead and craft a couple of chemical plants. Um, I'm going to need some stone brick so that I can make refineries. Uh, because we also we need the refineries to make plastic in order to make the red circuits. So I'm just checking my planner to see how many refineries I'm going to need in this base. Where are they? I'm going to need 8.1 refineries. Okay, so let's, we'll just round that up to nine and uh, we'll make nine refineries. So I'm going to need a bunch of stone brick for that. One, two. Let's grab some steel. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. And uh, like I said, the engines we already know how to make. And you notice we still haven't expanded our smelting yet. We will need to do that fairly soon. Um, but what I'd like to do before we do that is get to 
construction robotics, right? And we can get that once we have the blue science packs. You know, it's it's down a chain. Um, but as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and queue up what we're going to need to get there. We're going to need advanced oil. Uh, we're going to need lubricant, electric engines, robotics, and then construction robotics. Okay. So just because this is kind of tedious to build, I want to I want to make get our robot set up before I do that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a few tanks. Well, I'll just make one tank for now. Okay. So once we get some refinery, uh, once we get some refining done, then we'll be able to make the sulfur and the plastic for the red circuits that we're going to need. Right. So red circuits take two plastic bars and four copper cable and two electronic circuits each. And I found that um, I found that that is one of the more or one of the most resource intensive things that we're going to be making in the game. Uh, what was I looking for? 32. OK, let's throw in some more steel there so we can crank out more flamethrower ammo. And then I am going to set up my refineries. So the refineries have two inputs and three outputs. OK, and we need to leave one space between each one. So I'm just going to make a row of all nine refineries with a space between each one like that. And then I'll put a string of power poles, which will go one between each, one between each, and then we can throw some lights down in between each one as well. Okay. Now in these, uh, eventually there will be two recipes, uh, basic oil processing and advanced oil processing. But for now, all we can do is basic oil processing because advanced oil requires blue science packs to research. Okay. And the only output that we get is petroleum, which makes it very simple. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm doing fine on pipe. In previous versions of the game, you needed, even with basic oil, you would get light oil and heavy oil, and it was kind of a pain to uh, to process all those outputs. But for now, it's, it's quite simple. All right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put, let's pick that up. I'm going to place a single section of pipe on each one of these. And I am going to connect them with underground pipes like this. Now you might ask why we're doing this instead of just running a length of straight pipe all the way down, you know, just by doing that. Um, that would be easy, but the reason we don't do that is because when we do advanced oil, we're going to need to get water in here. Okay, so we're going to we're going to have another set of pipes like this that connects water to the other input. Um, and if you have oil there, for example, uh, and water, then you won't be able to put you won't be able to put pipes side by side like that. OK, and then we're going to do the same thing up here. Whoops. Straight pipe for our petroleum output. So we're using lots of underground pipe. And then when we get advanced oil, uh, we're going to have two additional outputs here. One will be light oil and the other will be heavy oil. All right, let's grab my flamethrower ammo. 
Uh, I'm going to relocate that. Let's see. Put that there. Will that reach? It will if I do that. There we go. Let me check my power here. All right, we're still doing good. Okay, and then down here, I'll put another underground and we'll send that into a tank. All right, so now we're building. And I'll put my, I'll put my ammo factory over here. I guess I could, yeah, I'll leave myself a little bit of room. Uh, flamethrower. Let me see. It would also be nice to start making explosives, but we'll, I think we'll get to that later. All right, yeah, so for now, just for flamethrower ammo. Steel goes there. Okay. So now this is slowly filling up with petroleum gas. All right. So we take in 100 crude and we get 45 petroleum out. When we do advanced oil, we get a better recipe where we use 100 crude. We get 55 petroleum and we get 45 light oil and 25 heavy oil. So um, that's why advanced is better. You get a lot more product for your uh, for each um, unit of oil that goes in okay so we need plastic and we need sulfur all right now let's look here we've got the green circuits there i've got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen okay which is just barely enough for red circuits, we're going to need 37 machines. Uh, they're a bit slower than the green circuits, so we need a lot more machines. And for plastic, I need 6.5, which I will round up to 8. All right, so let's go ahead and craft. Well, let's go get some steel first, and then we'll craft some more chemical plants. I've got two for the petroleum or for the sulfur, but I need more for the, for the plastic. All right, so five, six, seven, eight. And so far everything else is going swimmingly. Get rid of the last of our yellow ammo there. Just getting rid of trees as we go. We can get rid of some more of this stone brick. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, so let me make another pump. Because so what I like to do is collect the outputs into tanks and then use a pump to pull it out of the tank into our production system. Okay. So I think we'll do the... I think we'll make the plastic and the sulfur on the other side of the path here. That seems like a nice way to go. All right, so eight, let's see. Let's go one, two, three. All right. So for plastic, I'm going to do one, two, three, four on that side. One, two, three. All right. Three spaces so we can run a belt through the middle. All right. So the plastic requires petroleum and coal. Okay, 
and these produce two every one second. So I'm going to put, whoops, I'm going to put fast inserters on the outputs. Now, in this case, I will use a single section of pipe. Like that. And then we'll use long inserters to put in the coal. Now be careful when you place your long inserters, don't put the belt right next to it because it wants to pick up from one tile away. So the incoming coal belt will have to go there. And there. Okay, where should we get our coal from? Uh, we could pull it from here. Or we could go over there and get it from that patch. And I th think I would prefer to do that. So let's make some mining drills. And I'm gonna run and get more belts. Keep eliminating trees as I go. Let's see, belts are over here. I should get more inserters as well. There's belts, there's inserters. How am I doing on gears? I could use more gears. Okay, we've got a full belt of rail. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick all this up. I'll just leave the belt there. Grab some more gears. Okay, and I'm going to use my big power poles to get power over there. I know this is not in a straight line, but this is somewhat temporary. We'll eventually be building over in this direction and then I can reconnect the power. There we go. Okay. So I've got 30 of these. I think I'll start right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and then, all right. all the way north. So I'm going to shift click and then point up from map view. Okay. And then I'm going to want it to join there. So again, shift click and then, and then move with map view. That's uh, that's kind of a, one of the, like the easier way to make straight lines. All right. How many walls do I have with me? I might have enough to wall this in. Um, but probably not. I'll just put some turrets down. Do one there. I'll do one there. We'll do one here. One there. One there. Okay, and these are all going to get red ammo. Okay. 
All right. And then I just need to power them up. <laughs> those turrets those turrets really couldn't have been more in the way of what I was trying to do there with my power pulse alright, I'll put one there and I'm going to need a radar over here so I can see what's going on and I'll put that right there okay, good and now we start running it over to where the plastic is. And I'm going to make a buffer of plastic. reason for that is uh, that later in the game well I found that with plastic there you know you're making red circuits the whole game and then later on in the game we're gonna need we're gonna need plastic to make uh, rocket parts and I find that if you build up a little buffer during the early part of the game it makes the late game easier Okay, so plastic's on its way. I should really start making steel chests. All right, well, these will be my last iron chests. All right. So just like we did for the coal earlier, just kind of a simple little buff buffer setup. All right, so this way we'll consistently be producing plastic. Let's enjoy the smoke and animation there for a minute. That is really cool. Okay, and for plastic, um, 1800, okay. Yeah, one yellow belt will be enough. The planner says we need half of a red belt or a little bit less than half of a red belt, which is one yellow belt. So we should be fine with one yellow on the plastic. And then what we'll do is we'll make the red circuits down here. So we can just bring that plastic belt straight down, uh, join in with the, with the red circuit production. And then there might be a few other items that require red belts as well. And if that's the case, then we'll uh, we'll get those put on the bus. We'll get that plastic put on the bus. All right, so I, I know I'm kind of already over time, but real quickly, let's uh, make some sulfur as well. Okay, so the sulfur, I will just put my two machines like this. Uh, you notice that sulfur requires water. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we'll feed in the petroleum like that. Okay, and then we need to bring water. So for that I'm going to need an offshore pump, which is right there. And we'll get the water from this huge lake over here. Um, and as a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and This is where I'm going to want the water to come in for the refineries. So I'll just go ahead and run it along there. My water line. And then I can use the same water line for all this stuff. I 
I don't need all these ghosts. Okay. Uh, where's my pump? Here we go. So I'll put that there. Um, I need to put some turrets over here too. See, then that's going to go like that. And it'll feed water into the refineries later. I won't hook that up yet. Um, but I think I'll bring... Yeah, I'll bring the water like that. Okay, so we've got water and petroleum. I'll send that belt out that way. This is two per one second, so again, I'll just put a put a fast inserter in there. And we'll throw in a light over there as well. Okay, so we've got sulfur that we need for the science packs. Uh, we're also gonna be using sulfur to make batteries and stuff like that, sulfuric acid. Um, and we've got our plastic being produced. Uh, so what we'll need to do next is make advanced circuits with the plastic and make engine units. And then we'll be able to start constructing the blue science packs and continue our research. Ah, oh, you know what? Looks like I've got one more I can do. Um, but I'll just hold off on that one. Okay. Well, that'll do it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.